1st of February, day 32, and we're just leaving Tria Tri Castella. Tria Castella. The place we stayed yesterday, that in, in Tria Castella, there's three albergs. Um, there's the municipal one, which cost five euros, but we actually stayed in a private one, which was eight euros each, and it had like full kitchen facilities and Wi Fi and everything. It was nice and warm. We've just been trying to find our way uh, that we can go left or right, and left brings us past a church, which that a lot of people like to go and see and the route's longer and if we go right here we've been told it will bring us uh, over in like some nicer views and the route is shorter through nicer countryside or something so we've just been looking around for it and I think we've found it find a couple of yellow arrows which go right so I think we're on the right track what do you think are we on the right track? I think so I'm a little confused now because we've come to a fork in the road see fork and this is what the signs look like one arrow looks like it's pointing up there. This arrow looks like it's pointing down here. There's a little black thing here that says Tria Castella to the right. We've just come from Tria Castella, so we don't want to end up there again. And then there's another yellow arrow here saying Tria Castella this way. And go, watch her. <laughs> and go left for Saria. We want to go to Saria. I don't know. Yes. These moments, what do you do? I would go where the stone is because... Even though it says Tria Castella? Even though the sign says Tria Castella that way? Yes, it might be some kid. It might be some kid? And my feeling is we should go left. That's my feeling. <laughs> the left road has just taken us up an epic hill. The road that I chose. Victoria wanted to go the right road. I said my feelings the left road. So the left road took us up, like I said, an epic hill. I started to overheat, got up to the top of the hill, took my gaiters off, took the poncho off, hat, gloves in the bag. Uh, fortunate enough now we're going down a bit of a hill. But I, as we're coming up, I'm looking on the other road, the right road, and the right road's going like a nice route. Seems like it's going in a similar direction, but maybe a, a better route better well what what does that mean really um, an easier route maybe so then I was thinking oh maybe I chose the wrong route maybe I chose the wrong road and then the voice comes and says you can't choose a wrong road all roads we take are for our higher growth and learning all roads are it's impossible to take the wrong road it's impossible to be mistaken because everything in life is for our, our higher growth. Hello, our little friend. Hello. What are you? I don't even know what you are. You look lovely. <laughs> Isn't it? Hello. I've never seen one of you before. You're lovely. <laughs> you know, if we didn't take the left road, we wouldn't have seen that little animal there that, that we've never seen before. Totally new experience. And we wouldn't be getting this great butt workout as well. This looks like a good place to get water. We must be on the right track, huh? Because this is here. Surely this is a sign on the right track. How's the water, hun? Tastes good. So this is Galicia.
first sparked my interest in doing the Camino was when I read Paulo Coelho's book, The Pilgrimage, roughly about 10 years ago. And since then, it's been in the back of my mind and many other things have come up to sort of push me in this direction or pull me in this direction, if you will. And when we were in Leon, which is a big city, I thought maybe I'll be able to get his book here in English because obviously we're in Spain. It's difficult to get books in English in some places. But I, I had a look around Leon because I thought I want to read it again because it's 10 years since I read it. And it obviously, you know, stirred something in me. But I wonder what that was. And I remember virtually none of the book. I could tell you in 10 seconds what I remember of the book. Uh, so, but I just knew it was something about the Santiago Trail. So I couldn't find the book on Leon. And then in Tria Castella, yesterday evening, we were down in the supermarket. And I was looking at the fruit and veg section thinking, there's not much in the supermarket really. And then I turned around and there was Paolo Coelho's book, The Pilgrimage, in English on the shelf. I thought, wow, you know, I couldn't find the book in, in a big city, yet it's sitting here in this little tiny supermarket in the middle of nowhere. So I just started reading it last night, read the first 20 pages, then conked out, my eyes closed. Um, but it's interesting because it shows the map, and he did this exact same route that we we're doing, and I couldn't remember what route he did, I just knew he did the Santiago, Santiago Trail, but he started from St. John Pierre de Port and finished in Santiago, and that's the exact same route that we're doing. Interesting. Oh wow, I wonder how we're going to traverse this one. Away. Might have to help Tori on this one. We're walking down this really awesome trail at the minute. village we've got to in about at least maybe four hours of walking. Not much to it, but uh, a bit of character to it. that's the town in the distance. Out of the two routes we could have come today, I think we're definitely taking the right, the, the right route. Awesome. Beautiful, huh? It seems that that place was closed, but uh, I think we might have somewhere else up in the distance here. We've just done over 12k with uh, no cafe, nothing like that. So, uh, it's nice. Oh, it's never fails. Tiniest villages will still have a Coke machine outside. Incredible, huh? In my head, the Rocky music's playing. <laughs> Nearly there. Just the top here. 